I'll try to say five, if time permits. Truths about purpose. Now, I'm trying to see, you know, I had to prepare my message again yesterday so that I will not preach what every preacher had preached in this conference. Now, what I planned to preach before, I have had preachers spoke about it from the first day. Hallelujah. You know, the first day we had the leadership meeting where Pastor MC herself took the meeting and she taught the people to know what purpose is all about. That what is purpose? Purpose is the original intention in the heart of God concerning the person created. Now, what is your own purpose? Your purpose is your focus. What you want to attain, achieve. That's your focus. That's your purpose. Your focus is your, your purpose. That's your purpose. Where you are aiming at, we were taught on Thursday. Then on Friday, Pastor Shaba came up in the place of prayer and told us that one of the assignments of every woman is to make sure that she raise children that will be godly and prosperous. And she said one of the places where you should do it is on your knees in the place of prayer you come out to pray and your children begin to do exploit now i came yesterday uh, from a meeting to join also and i listened to the mental health section and i was blessed now the woman was telling us that the person that will fulfill purpose is the woman with the right frame of mind and she came up with Helene's video, Helene Paul's video. I've been watching Helene Paul. I've watched it to season 10. It has 10 seasons. That clip, the one you watched yesterday is season 1. Now, Helene Paul was a child produced from rape. You know, the father was not known. Nobody knew her. Everybody re rejected her. Nobody wanted to give her their name. But eventually, she emerged. She became a professor in the U.S. and a comedian in Nigeria. And they told us yesterday that you must never allow your background to determine your future. They told us yesterday. Then when our pastor, Miss, Mrs. Eboda, also came up, she put icing on the cake. She made us understand that there is nothing God cannot do in your life. You should not limit yourself. Don't allow what people say to you. Don't allow where you came out from to make you think that your future is uh, uh, can never be great. You know, that was what she said. But this morning, I want to share with us truths about purpose. Listen, purpose has truths. You can recognize your purpose and still not enter it. Hear me. There are five truths that you need to know. And I want you to run with these five truths as I quickly come up. Number one, hear me. Without proper counsel, purpose will fail. Without proper counsel, I want you to understand it. Purpose will fail. Without proper counsel, no matter how strong your purpose is, if you lack quality counsel, I'm telling you, your purpose will fail. How do I know this? I saw it in Proverbs chapter 20 verse 18 and Proverbs chapter 15 verse 22. We are going to take it one after the other. Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 18. Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 18 it means that purpose enough purpose alone is not enough to take you into itself look at it let's read together after the count of three one two and let's go plans are established by counsel by wise counsel which war okay they brought the old king james version where i read from let's go again one two and let's go every purpose is established by what counsel and with good advice you make war every purpose is established now we didn't say we get purpose from counsel it is established from counsel now which means no matter what god have destined concerning you no matter what you yourself have decided to say okay this is my destination oh continue very achieve ray hear me there is what we call technical know-how there are one or two things that you need to know in order to make purpose to be achieved. I'll go to the next scripture, but hold on. This shows us that the greatest need of a woman of purpose is what? Counselor. The greatest need of the woman of purpose are counselors. Counselors need greatest need. Your greatest need is a counselor. Now, I wrote in my notes, Will God? can God teach you all things? Yes. But will, will God teach you all things? No. God has capacity to teach you everything, but he will not teach you everything. 
do you know why he will not teach you everything he has taught some people those things and he will not need to repeat himself can you imagine if god decides to repeat it, the training to everyone he wants to train me. He wants to train my wife. He wants to train my son. He wants to train my grandson. We will not arrive before purpose will end. So you know what God has done? What he has taught Mr. A, he doesn't need to teach Mr. B. He wants Mr. B to go find out what Mr. A knows that makes him to be different. Am I communicating? That's why when God started to deal with Samuel, the calling was there. If they enter you, the call was upon Samuel. Samuel started to hear the voice of God. He sat down in the house and he had his name, Samuel. And for you to know, the voice he had was exactly that the voice of, voice of Eli. So he ran to Eli. Oh God, Mr. you called me. Oh God, you called me. Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back to your room and sleep. He went back to his room again where he lay down he had this name again samuel ah, ah, he ran back oh God, sir, did you call me did you call me he said i didn't call you go back to your room as he was going to his room Eli said wait i recognize this experience i have had this experience before samuel come you've had your name two times now he said yes he said you know what if you hear your name again the third time just say to that person saying to you speak lord for your servants hear it. Listen, that code that we make God to speak on, God did not tell Samuel. That's why I want to ask you, who is your counselor? Tani mentor, you know? You can't enter purpose without the guidance of mentors. Am I communicating? You can't. That's why I go and look at those people that say, I don't need a mentor. I have the anointing. I don't need a mentor. I have the giftings. They don't get to the top before they finish their oil. Do you know that God himself did not say, Samuel, where you come, 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 it's not a leader, he's calling you. God has order and he follows his order. He's the one that establishes it. He won't break it. Then Samuel went back to the room. He now had his name again. Samuel. The same voice that looked like the voice of Eli, but Eli had already taught him what he needed to know. He now said, sir, speak on for your servant. Hear it. Then the voice said to him, I am done with the family of Eli. Yes, I'm done with the family of Eli as a priest, but not as a coach. Because it was the rejected Eli that had, that had to train the appointed Samuel. I am done. Yes, I am done with him as a priest, but not as a coach. Let me talk to your fellow person. Touch, touch the person beside you. Ask him, who is your mentor? Please, don't allow pride to make you live a mentorless life. Am I communicating? Don't allow the, the uniqueness of your gift. Thank God for your gift. You want to call unique gift. There are gifted people all over the world. But don't allow the uniqueness of your gift make you feel that uh -uh, I don't need a coach. Let's follow my reading. I don't have all the time. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 22 is the second scripture. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 22. Shagada basket. Look at this. It says, without counsel, what will happen? Purposes are disappointed. Without counsel, purposes are disappointed. But in the multitude of counselors, they are established. In the multitude of counsel us. Yes, you call me your spiritual father. Do you know I myself have fathers? Last week, Wednesday or two, yes, it was on Wednesday. I was with one of my fathers. The last time I saw him was sometimes some year, that I had discussion with him was about four years ago. So I sat in his office. And as we were talking, he said, Pastor, let me tell you one of the responsibilities of fathers. That do you know that you have heard of sons' responsibilities to fathers. But do you know that there's what we call responsibilities of fathers to their children? Ah, I opened my ears to learn mama. Then he told me a story. He said, I will tell you a true life story. I want you to learn. Because life is a school of continuous learning. That's why if the day you stop learning, that's the day you have started to die. You don't die on the day you died. 
so many people are dead, but they are still walking. We are only waiting for them to stop breathing. Am I communicating? Yes, he now told me a story. In fact, I said to myself, if I, was, if I were him, I wouldn't do what he did. But I learned to be a better father from him. He said he was traveling out. He wanted to go and preach abroad. He got to the airport when he had a call. He said one of his spiritual sons, that is a general overseer of a church, fell into fornication. And the church, the wife and the entire church decided that pastor are falling, we are going to expel him from the church. He said when he had, I wondered if he bought, you know, could I be boss? Tobati bought the nearby. Uti Walini, Tobaja, they would lose everything there. And could I be bought? Go write ticket to allow very change the ticket here. He said, What? I have. He said he changed and called those people. I'm sorry, I can't come for that administration. One of my son has just fallen. Ah. He said he now he, he, he instantly there he got a flight to their state in Nigeria. He booked himself into an hotel. As he got to the hotel, he called his son. Come and meet me in the hotel. He said the son came. What happened? Tell me the truth I have heard. He said the man told him how he fell. He said he rebuked him for falling into fornication. But he didn't have to kill him. Ah, in my mind I was saying, ah, Pastor Prince, you are not yet a good father. I said if it is me, ah, but I learned more. He said, after counseling him, rebuke him, he restored him and told him, I have an extra room I've rented again. Go and stay there. He sent for his wife. He said, when the wife came, the wife was saying, I will not forgive my husband. I will not forgive my husband. My husband betrayed me. My husband this. My husband that. My husband up. My husband down. My husband this. He said he, he allowed her to pour her pain. Then he told her, open your Bible to Genesis chapter 2 verse 18. Who are you? A woman is an helper. If your husband is perfect, he does not need help. How are you an helper? He said, I ask her, how are you an helper to your man? If your husband, if you join the elders to castigate him now that he's on the floor. He said, the woman says, sir, you open my eyes. Helper of destiny. Help to meet. Sir, then what do I do? He said, he needs you now than ever. First, forgive him. Two, allow your heart to heal then you can team up with him to fight this battle. He said, once the woman was restored, the woman was happy. He put her in another room. He now called for a meeting. All the elders of the church, since your pastor introduced me as his spiritual father, I want to see all of you at Susan so Hotel. All of them came. He now asked them one by one, have you fallen into fornication before? He said, yes. Who restored you? My pastor. Have you fallen into fornication before? Yes. Who restored you? My pastor. Oh, you and God, you say, I've not fallen before. But who were you before? He said, I was a drunkard before pastor preached to me. Your pastor restored you. After talking to all of them, he said, the man that restored all of you fell. You are now killing him. Because of this, you want to leave the church. You want to destroy his 17 years work. Is that the best way to pay a man who has lived all this life? For you to know God? He said, all the others started crying. They wept. After weeping, they asked for forgiveness. And they said, we we'll love our pastor. We will restore our pastor. We will go back to that church. We will make sure that things don't scatter. And we will make sure that our pastor come back to the pulpit. The man said, in one week, Pastor Prince Will, I was able to restore the church. In one week. Now tell me, what if that man did not have a father? Women, I'm asking you, without counsel, purpose will fail. What is required to fulfill purpose is not purpose. You didn't hear me. What is required to fulfill purpose is not purpose. 
what is required to fulfill purpose is counsel. Tell this man to open his eyes. You didn't hear Pastor Paul in Nature. I sent it on Facebook last week. He said, why is it that it is small boys, strugglers that are playing instruments in church? He said, why can't we find CEOs of companies playing instruments? I had to reshare it. He said, why? Because they don't listen to messages. They only play and get out. They don't stay in church. He said, let's wake up. Let's come to days when you, they will say, who is that man on the drums? They will say, that is the managing director of social and so company. Back to our message. I had to branch because he was sleeping. Beloved, even Uza had who had a very good intention, hear me, was killed by God when he was trying to help God over the ark. The purpose of Uza was right now. Are people right? Ah, God struck him. Which means it is not the purpose itself that is important. It is the counsel behind it. Ask your fellow woman again, who is your mentor? Ask him, don't be afraid. Tell him to answer you. You can do better. Shout it aloud. Say, who is your mentor? I wrote here, beloved, don't fight your mentor. God can teach you all things, but he won't because he established the principle of seed time and harvest by himself. Even Jesus Christ, our Lord, had to sit with teachers, listening to them and asking them what? Questions. Even Jesus himself in Luke chapter 2 from verse 42. Because some people say, "I'm not going to come. I'm not going to come. I'm not going to come." Who is your mentor? So say, say after me, truth number one. I didn't hear you. Without proper, without proper counsel, I can't hear you. Purpose will fail. Say it again. Truth number one. Without proper counsel. Purpose we fail. Say it again, truth number one. Without proper counsel, purpose we fail. Beloved, the purpose not fail in the life of Rehoboam. It failed now. Unlu Yaku Joba lay in Solomon. But he didn't follow proper counsel. That's why I wrote here, please always know that you are the one in need of your mentors. It is not the other way around. Mentors don't need you. Did I, should I come again? Mentors don't need you. It is you that should need your mentor. So stop looking at their signs and say, look at how he behaved towards me. He will only in control of their color I want. Counsel to one look my who are fulfilled. Let's rush to number two because I don't have all the time. Number two. Number two. Second truth, the understanding of purpose is the strength you need to conquer distraction. Let me come again. The understanding of purpose is the strength you need to conquer distraction. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2. If you are finished writing, look up. Everything about this life is calling for your attention. Everything about this life is programmed to take your resources. But do you know what keeps you focused? When you understand purpose. You know when you get to challenge, challenge garage, or 
let's use the terminal in challenge. You want to travel, you get in. The ones that wants to go to Lagos will be calling you. And some will be saying, the same Lagos. Some will be saying, Obalende, Leko, Obalende, Obalende, Obalende. Some will be saying, Oshodi, 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 Oshodi. Some will be saying, Beggar, 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 Beggar. You know, this in this, all of them will be calling you. What if they get to know Beggar, Obalende, Oshodi. Beggar, Obalende, Oshodi. Beggar. Some will even be calling you, like, Come, come, come. Ali, be a day, uh, VI, 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 uh, VI, private boss, car, I mean, car, VI, VI, VI. But he won't look more to law. Tori, pay, oh, ye be to law, ye. Lo, she need that go go one loan. Abby? Am I communicating? <laughs> Sir, ma, the only thing that can help you to escape the distraction of this time is the proper understanding of your purpose. If you don't understand your purpose, there are false teachers that can teach you out of purpose. I was listening to one pastor yesterday. Emma Tugbawa, Evel Damina, Kilo Tugbewa. I was listening to him. Yes, I love listening to his message. He said it is not written anywhere that you should pray in the name of Jesus. Ah. He said, no, 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 it's not biblical to pray in the name of Jesus. How can you be saying in Jesus' name? He's not written anywhere. And instantly, I took my phone. I went to KJV and I typed in his name, in my name. And I saw where Jesus himself said, if asked of anything in my name, and he said it severally, ah, unibutuni daminati really by Jesus. He said, if you are praying in the name of Jesus, it means you don't have a relationship with God. You are trusting on the relationship you have that Jesus has with God. Ah, what kind of relationship do I have with God that is strong enough? When the Bible says the righteousness of Christ is what I have. And he was teaching it and people were saying, yeah, preach on, preach on. Ah. And I love that man so much. I listen to his message so much. But when I got to that point, I said, ah. <laughs> the world is full of distraction. Very soon, we are going to see preachers. In fact, there's one of them I used to read their, his books. I won't mention his name. We are on tape. He said, go search the scripture. There is no place where it is written that God is against polygamy. Ah. Have you forgotten Matthew chapter 19? Where Jesus himself said, he that created them made them male and female. And he therefore said, Therefore a man will leave his father and mother and shall cleave to his wife and day two shall become one. He didn't say day three. He didn't say day four. And I saw the pastor. I have over 70 of his books. He said there's no way it is written. The church in England about four years ago, joined the first gay marriage, male to male, in church. So, if you don't understand that heaven is your purpose, there are preachers ready to take you to hell. That's why you need to gain understanding of your purpose first. What is my focus? Very soon, they will begin to teach us that marriage is not biblical. They will begin to teach us that is, there's nothing wrong in father marrying the daughter. At least, I think you saw it now. That the priest also came up and told us. He said there is nothing like tight. He said tight is in the Old Testament. It's a part of the law. And I told them, I said, see, tight did not start with the law. Who brought the law? The law came with Moses. But Abraham was the first tighter. And we saw the traces of Titan in his grandson, Jacob. Where are you going? That's why I wrote in my notes, the clearer your purpose to you, the sharper your conviction. And when your conviction is sharp, you won't be easily distracted. So, Bomba Shinko, you should do, you should be. Beggar, beggar, beggar. Eh, eh, Obalin, you're Balin, you. Via, eh, we're famous. Lay, lay, see. Via, ni mon law. 
But what to about him? Mobito low, I must say, eh, Joe, eh, she's in my battle, but in the law, Mullis or Kale came to law. Even Jesus was so sure. Show us that Hebrews 12, uh, 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 chapter 12, verse 2. Look at this. Now let's look at this. Look at this. Look at this. He said, Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Look at this. Who for the joy that was set before him. Uh, uh, why did he endure the cross? Because he was looking at a joy. Ah, you come Ben Waju me. Anything to buy okay, she's missing me your mind. Are you come and here your tomb Ben Waju me? Say purpose. That's where you gain strength to overcome distraction. If I tell you what we have seen in ministry, I finished preaching on radio one day. I received a call. It was a lady. He said, Is that Pastor Prince? Will? I said, Is this Pastor Prince will underline? He says, I just want to tell you I love you. If you ask everybody around me, including my biological children, they will tell you that that statement, I love you, is the most expensive statement. I don't think there's a price that can bring it out of my mouth. Ah, ask this woman now. We have been married for 22 years. <laughs> My daughters want to be no here. I've been one in Nubimo. Because I, the, way I, the way we got born again, we were so indoctrinated that Jesus Nicola lays off. <laughs> my daughter reported me to my, my, the mom. He said, Can you imagine? I sent a man. I called daddy. I told daddy, Daddy, I love you. He said, He said, Jesus loves you too. <laughs> And she said, you are having a taste of what I am tasting. And she called me and said, Daddy, what do you mean? I said, oh, you Jesus loves you. I try. No, so this lady now says, sir, I just love you. I said, thank you. He said, please, can we, can we have a relationship? I said, what kind of relationship? He said, the kind of relationship that the Holy Spirit has with people. Holy Spirit in the people. The only person that can be inside of me is the Holy Ghost. Do you know why? My purpose, number one purpose is I want to make heaven. I want to be part of the ministers that will stand up and say, I am scandal free. My Christian testimony is not tarnished. What's your purpose? And you know where the strength came from? Them? It came from our purpose. My purpose. I won't come to church to preach a message from my head because I want to be a sound minister. That purpose drives me to study. So declare the purpose. That's why if you see anybody that is distracted, distraction and call Beshubu, purpose yet is on Utepe. And Pastor, yeah, understand. Mo plan ku mo fek ba we laro e. E ba ti mo wa dili a mo Francis. Mo shan go run kanton kanton run 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 run. E ba ti kini e run. Ba ko in fact mo koko mo koko mo koko sope ko si in kanton to machele. Ba bon si be kini e jade e run di di ate jah mo koko ke ah Jesus Allah no ni e o o shan mo ke o wu mi lati ba we. Shuba mo brother Francis kanton se lo fa o o o wu le plan na ti ba we tele. That's why the Bible says, if you fail in the days of struggle, your strength is what? Weak. So, a clear purpose is the source of strength to conquer what? Distraction. Let's take number three. Are you learning something? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Shagada basket. I'm trying to look for it. Okay. Number three. Oh, I didn't finish number two. I was looking at the points I wrote here. Now, listen. That's why, as a child of God, hear me, you must continue to do the things that will make your purpose clearer to you. You know, don't forget, the sharper it is, the courage you have to conquer distraction. So, what should you do as a child of God? Look for ways to make your purpose clearer. Now, there are three things I wrote that can help you, or two, let's take two, that can help you to make your purpose to be sharper and clearer in your mind. Number one, spend more time with God. 
both in Bible study and in praying. Spend more time. You know, the more time you are spending with God, I remember whenever I'm praying and I'll begin to see a lot of crowd in my prayer place. I'll see people coming and say, Pastor Prince Will, thank God for your word. Thank God for the, the preaching. Thank God for this. Thank God for that. So when I'm faced with temptation, I will say to myself, I've seen pictures of where God is taking me. Will I not allow this one to stop me from getting there? So to make your purpose sharper in your mind, spend more time with God. Number two, to make your purpose sharper in your mind, associate yourself with achievers. Stop associating with failures. Associate yourself with what? Women. Don't stop associating with gossips. I want to tell you something. Stop those kind of association. Ah, hey, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Mama, be me your photo. Oh, Mama, bad luck, your photo. Be me your photo. You know, stop it. Hey, but one dupe, one dupe, one song cut, one song cut, book, one yoga. Stop it. Show me Proverbs chapter thirteen, verse twenty. I want everybody to see it. Associate. I want. I want to carry. Everybody want to turn to turn learning. Let's read it together, everybody. One, two, and let's go. He that walketh with wise men, what shall happen? Shall be wise. But a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Which means, okay? The more you work with achievers, fire of achievement will be burning in your heart. You want to get to your next level, women? Close your doors to gossip. Delete their numbers from your phone. Send them out of your house when they come in. I want to get it on today or a church in the of when. Send them out of your house. Can you see company of fools? Let's go to number three. Can I go on? Understand that you don't attain purpose at once. It requires a process of stages. Understand that you don't attain purpose at once. Oh, in your king, they be they be like a It takes process. If you are finished writing, look up. I want to show you something. What dream did Joseph started to get? He saw that he sat down and his father's house, everybody in the house was coming to what? Bow down to Abby. That's the ultimate dream, purpose. But God did not start like that. How did God start? He started managing his father's business. Joseph, go and check your brothers for me. The Bible says he will be bringing evil reports. Sir, my brothers are not doing well. Kukba bribe. Kukba cover up. My brothers are not doing well. Then God saw that he did well in his father's house. They sold him. He got to where? Potiphar's house. He started from modern slave. He managed and did well and became overhead. Overhead. He didn't stop there. They lied against him. He went to prison. God allowed him to walk in prison. You know what God was doing? God was taking him from stage to stage. He managed the economy in prison. It was from the prison. They came to invite him to come and manage the economy of entire Egypt. Egypt then is like America now. The center of civilization. But when you're famous, look, Canada, America, UK, and when you want to travel, we we'll see Egypt, Latin world, and who was the person in charge? It was then that ultimate purpose happened. 
he now sat down. His brothers didn't know that he was the one. They now prostrate. Hey, Josa, Anshuli, Anshuli, Unjelawara, Unjelawara, and we document you are Visa Ware, Anshuli, Anshuli, and we receive you are Unjatatira, Anshuli. He just came up. I am Joseph. Hey! You know what will come to the, their mind? Allah Imashe. Allah Tataku Imashe. Book Badua Fenton Bomi. Book Bua Larry Return Taku in a year. Oh, no, Mamma Moshe. That vision that is making the enemy to fight against you, God will bring it to pass in the name of Jesus. But you have to follow process stage by stage. Manage in your father's house, manage in Potiphar's house, manage in what looked like prison. Some of you have graduated from your father's house, some of you now in destiny, you are in Potiphar's house. Some of you in destiny now, you fell from Potiphar's house. You are in prison right now. You are close to palace. You don't know. You only need one introduction. But remain faithful. Don't try to come out of the prison. Because Joseph as a manager, they gave him freedom. If you go to Agodi prison, you know that there are some prisoners that can come out. They trust them so well that they can't run. He said, overdue. Joseph could have run back to his father's house. He would have missed it because the helper was to meet him in prison but he was there he took him extra two more years before somebody said wait i remember one guy it's stage by stage tell your neighbor i will wait i didn't hear you tell him clearly because if you refuse to wait some of you you are angry you know they call they say that expensive wig that they are wearing now is what is bow straight abby before there was nothing like that when your own time come bow straight will have expired i remember in those days early 80s early 80s i was in primary school when they would come and do hair for my mom there was nothing like a, a, a what you put that in that they used to put their dryer it's like they are cooking the hair I remember those days. They would carry one thing like iron. You will see fire come out. Ah, I'll be afraid. That he, my mom, they will burn my mommy. They will burn my mommy. Say, those days. And those people those days were the ones raining. That was the raining fashion. But if you do that now. Because I to see Koja. I a week. And you want to kill yourself. If you don't arrive now, when you arrive, that their own too will have expired. They too will be showing you at home. Ah, back home, come down, down, lowly. You will now be saying, We are the one in town. Tell your neighbor, Will you wait? Ask him, Will you wait? Say, I will wait. I say it like you understand. Yeah. Number four. Number four. Can I tell you this one quickly again? Purpose is the reason why several enemies are stirred up against you that's another thing i want you to know it is your purpose that determines the size of your enemies let me come again it is your purpose that determines the size of your enemies uh -uh. have you ever seen a defender have major injury before in football before a defender will have major injury, 10 strikers will have had injuries. So, your position in the field of destiny determines your kind of enemies. Anywhere you see Messi standing alone, coaches will be telling their defenders. Number five. Four. Don't leave five alone. Six. Get closer to him. Two. Always be coming around. Number, what's the next one after two? Uh, three. Make sure you two are always helping five. Because that guy is a dangerous man. Well, go keep always standing alone. Be bold, but don't go keep Go send to my sumo. So, but I bash it, but he loaded it. I mean, he rule on to why he was she. Would have come okay. But I want to buy a far. 
one month old Didani. Look at Matthew chapter two verse three. Hey, yeah, we'll continue on. Sorry, what are we Matthew chapter two verse three. I'm running up now. Matthew chapter two verse three. Leba sakada bara baske. Bala basoto. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I don't have all the time. Basa tayanga da baske ne. Shagada ba. Basoto yenga da bas. Those of you in this media, I'm waiting. Matthew chapter two verse three. Let's read together. One, two, and let's go. When Herod the king had, sorry, when Herod the king had had these things, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. What did he hear? Read from verse 1. Read from verse 1 so that you know what he had. Please don't take long. What did he hear? Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. What did they come to do in verse 2? Saying, where is that? Where is he that is born? King of the Jews. Can you see? For we have seen his star. What did they see? What did they see? Did they see him? They didn't even see the owner of the star. The owner of the star was just one day old. How many days? One day old. Not even ten years. But they, they were looking at him. They were looking at the star. He's the star of a king. You don't know that the reason why they are fighting you is because of your star. They have seen something. Something about you is shining on their plate. So understand that purpose is the source of enemies. Because you are there crying. Kini Moashe, Kini Moashe, Kini Jesushe. Omo ujo. And Bible says when Herod had, he was troubled. Ah ah. Kino mu trouble no. Come on yet to dagba wati ku. Omo ujo wili ba joba lo we. But he was just troubled. That's why here, you know what God said I should tell you. When you begin to walk towards your purpose, you will generate enemies. Get yourself ready. That's why we had uh, Mrs. Somebody yesterday. Some of you, because somebody didn't laugh with you. With the funny mental. Kill it, no? Mental, mental, mental. One year mental, it was just a state. With the funny mental disorder. Won't really see me. Won't really see me. Because they didn't laugh. You didn't know why they are not laughing. Hey, hey, because they didn't invite me. Me, Lake Bagby. My greatest encounter with Bishop David Yudeko in 2019. Me, Lake Bagby, like me, Timothy Wallace. I was in the sitting room. Got that privilege to Professor Bola Yeni and his wife. They took me there. Bishop Yudeko sat down like this. I sat down like this. Pastor Mujela, we sat down here. Professor Bola Yeni and his wife sat like this. And Pastor Muji said, I will not be the question. But I mean, okay, Papa, how did you do it to get to this point? <laughs> he said, Bishop, Bishop, they would laugh. I was sitting beside him. I just brought out, because me, if I go to great meetings, I brought out my, my small jotter with my small pen. He said, <laughs> he laughed. <laughs> An elephant does not need to announce his arrival. Because an elephant is naturally big. When it is coming, everybody will know that it's coming. When I discovered this fact, I told myself, I will not build my success on any man's platform. I will build myself, establish my own platform, and reign all over. Ah. He said, so I am not looking for where to preach. I didn't train myself like that from the beginning. I built myself on my own platform. Now they are looking for me all over the world. What's it done? And from that day, I entered into the realm of deep study. Because some people are saying, I'm looking, I'm looking, ah, if I, if I keep all the nature here, invite to make him preach by my blow. I don't need it. 
there are some places if they invite me, I will tell them that, sir, you are my father. I cannot preach, preach on your platform. What do I want, want to say? That people like that, we can, they don't yet know. So your purpose is what determines your enemies. Can you see why they rose against you? It's because of what they have seen. Because of where, what they have seen. Let's take the last one, number five. Purpose cannot be fulfilled without sacrifice. That's the last truth I want you to know. Purpose cannot be fulfilled without sacrifice. If you don't know how to stretch, beloved, hear me, you will not be able to enter purpose. Let me tell you something that my wife will not tell you. This women conference that you see, that it was glorious. She started saving five, five hundred naira every day to the end of a contributor. A large job. Once of whom I in January, the woman she women conference. If I did a woman bring in November, oh she she can't want your mouth. That's it, Papa. All on daily she only that's it. Well, Joma, move my dad your five five hundred. Lojuma. Put in November came to bow. Some of you think that good things just happen, just appear. If that one man can't join, Allah join and go and cut this appear. If that one pay pay, or set on body, or just in my bow, who she he? Mommy and Joma be no man for the wari. Mommy and Joma. I want to yet it. I want to do a page. You may lay it. You are telling me I'm going to go and go and kill, kill, kill. Go You know, if any woman watching online say, "You will conference, see Pastor Yemi, see she, my she, see the manto, see the sacrifice to Allah there." You there? She the reason see you look go me or she debi or go any pay only sacrifice. They are among those that believe. To ba chile juo kede lo. To ba jento le juo kede lo. Oh le boko to le juo kede lo. Tap your fellow woman. Say stretch. See, you must come out of your comfort zone, madam. You must what? come out of your comfort zone. Some of you need to go back to school. Let me talk to this woman now. Some of you need to I come again. Some of you need to go back to school. You stop that school sat. There are programs in the, uni in the university. Some of you need to go back to learn some new things. I was glad when the evangelist was sharing her testimony. She went to fashion school. She went back to learn how to do fashion. The world that we are in is a changing world. If you don't change along, hear me, they will drop you aside. Some of you need to renew your mind. Stretch. Hey, Papa, hey, we understand. Ah, teba mo yo moti moti bi. Eni ma soro stretch. Ah, kosi in kanto da to easy lati she. Awa yo ba man sope un kanre un feko she kini kan she un. Let me tap your finger, my woman. Say stretch. Ah, oh yeah, you believe. Bear ba stretch she le bi money. She bojo ojo alake kere yeni. 
I'm on 4.5 kg there for day. What would they tell you? Nurse. Nurse I can't push. Abi. They will say sleep. If I tell you I pray for my two daughters, ma, I'm praying for them because I saw how my wife used to labor. So I used to pray. Ah, Ulua, Jo, Eniola, Oyola, Ulua, Jo, for my baby, Rob, Oloru. If I meet Tomasa, Rick, but my wife, for me, why? Pastor, this is your child. Where is my wife? They say, Your wife is coming. I love these Catholic people. This is their Christmas carol. I love them. I love them. I love them. <laughs> we are together. Hey, back to our message. Back to our message. <laughs> so you stretch. Nothing good comes easy. And as long as you are still breathing, to bash in me, eh? to she me, so she me, you can still do new things. One of our friends, Barista Adiroshin, now he was 40 something years old, I think going to 50 years, when he told his children that he wants to go to law school. He went to law school for six years, went, I mean, to university, learned law, went to law school for one year, came out. He's now a full barista. Women, purpose requires that you stretch yourself. Don't live your life raising babies. Are you hearing me? Put your children, this coming year, in crutch. Go and pursue your dream. And some people say, sir, my husband will not allow that same husband will mock you if your care is not taken. Because if you are no longer going out, you no longer meet up to today's fashion. Because you wake up in the morning, you, your wrapper is around your waist. He comes back from work, your wrapper is around your waist. I'm a man. Look at me. Let me tell you, we love new things. Abi, you are We love new things. Can I tell you this truth? Hello, Bible could see record your mobile belong. Oh, hello, be Bible ye. Oh, my God, the dying alone. He will take up an angelic nature, the nature of spirits. That's why the Bible says, when you are when rapture takes place, we are changed. He will just pass and say, Oh, oh, are you the man that was my father on earth? Oh, you are that man, and he's going. You know that you see that in me, I can't have a son who to John Long. Go and read the Bible. And how did I know it? They came to Jesus, they asked him, Jesus, Jesus, tell us, a man got married to a wife and the man died. Well, because the family doesn't want the name of the man to perish, we now gave the junior brother to Maria. The junior brother died. And because we don't want the family to perish, we gave the third one. They gave unto the seventh born and that one died. They now ask Jesus, in heaven, whose wife will he be? Since all the seven of them married her. Jesus said there is no marriage in heaven. So I want more to I want more, I want more, I want no more. Stretch. Tell your neighbor, stretch. There's no time. Have I blessed you today? Have you learned something? Are you sure? Please. The Bible says, blessed are those that hear and do what they are told. You are not blessed until you begin to do what you have learned. Let's put hands together for Jesus as Pastor MC comes up.